We actually launched the newly established uh, SDG Lab and uh, we launched it in a very successful way thanks to, to WIPO and the entire Geneva community that really engaged uh, behind this behind this new this new unit. Um, it It was beautiful to see that in the room, uh, all the stakeholders that represent the Geneva ecosystem were there. And this is the ecosystem that we at the lab want to build on in to support better the implementation of the SDGs. Innovation and gender, um, I think the outcome of today demonstrated clearly that there are very, very evident links between both. Both of these uh, SDGs share in particular in common the, the horizontal nature uh, in their impact on all SDGs, uh, fundamental to all SDGs, uh, we believe at any rate, is first of all gender equality uh, and secondly innovation which really pervades uh, the whole territory of uh, the SDGs. We're not going to get sustainability without innovation, I think that's pretty clear, and we're not going to make it at all unless all of us are part of it, and if we don't get the 50% um, of the world population who is female to be in equally on board in our efforts, we are simply not going to make it. So both of these goals are incredibly important, and their interlinkages, at least to me, are pretty clear. Innovation is linked necessarily to empowerment, and empowerment for, of women the way I see it, the way that I think it has been quite well demonstrated, is investing at early age, early age, ECD, is early child development. When you invest in girls, their return is higher. One of the reasons for the economic success of Korea was that uh, uh, our women were very active in, uh, in, in our economic uh, daily life. It's now a uh, common knowledge that the women are underrepresented in the world of uh, science, research and development and innovation. But uh, to develop policies that can address this underrepresentation, I think uh, we need uh, more data uh, and uh, evidence. We believe that uh, to innovate, to build sustainable and profitable growth, we need to pay attention to women. This is the only way forward. And why it matters? Because a lot of research worldwide have shown tremendous results that companies that are having women at executive board level, that are paying attention to cultures and diversity of nationalities, but also that are paying attention to inclusiveness, inclusive behaviors, are outperforming compared to their peers. Je voudrais dire que Euh, les stéréotypes dont vous avez parlé tout à l'heure nous font beaucoup de mal et l'éducation première que nous recevons parfois euh, rattachée à la culture nous fait beaucoup beaucoup de mal euh, si l'on pouvait sortir des de, de stéréotypes du genre ça c'est pour les filles, ça c'est pour les garçons je pense que ça nous aiderait énormément The statistics clearly show that uh, women are underused in the innovation sphere so that means that a good percentage of humanity is underutilized in one of the areas that we've designated in the Sustainable Development Goals as essential for building sustainable economies in the future. It's very clear that we have to work on the institutional, on the human, on the cultural level to ensure that women, first of all, are given the opportunities in science, technology, education, uh, and secondly, the opportunities to be able to participate fully uh, uh, in uh, innovation, which in turn will lead to a much more creative world.